Hello guys, once again welcome to chemistry classes by Vijay Kumar Sethi. Now today we will discuss the chapter, next chapter of class 12 that is solutions. First we will discuss what are the some common terms, what is solution that is in the lower classes we have discussed the definition of solution that is homogeneous mixture of two or more than two components. Then the solutions have the two components, one is solvent, another is solute. Solvent that is the component present in the largest quantity and generally the physical state of solution is determined by the physical state of solvent. One or more components present in the solution other than solvent are called solutes and generally these are present in the smaller quantity. If only two components are present, then these solutions are referred as binary solutions. And these two components are solvent, which is in the larger quantity, and solute, which is in the smaller quantity. Depending on the physical state of solvent, solutions are categorized in the three types. These are gaseous solution, liquid solutions, and solid solutions. In gaseous solutions, physical state of solvent is gas. In liquid solutions, physical state of solvent is liquid. In solid solutions, physical state of solvent is solid. Now, depending on the physical state of solute, each category may further divide into the, into the three categories. Like this gaseous solution, gas into gas, that is mixture of oxygen and nitrogen gases. We can say that is generally this is air, is the example of this type. Liquid into gas, chloroform mixed with nitrogen gas. Solid into gas, camphor in nitrogen gas. Gas into liquid, that is oxygen dissolved in water. Liquid into liquid, ethanol dissolved in water. Solid into liquid, glucose dissolved in water. Generally, these are the three types of solution which are frequently used. Solid solutions, gas into solid like solution of hydrogen in palladium liquid into solid amalgam of mercury with sodium this term amalgam we already discussed and we can say that is any alloy having one of the metal as a mercury then that is called amalgam then solid into solid all the alloys are categorized in this type of solution the copper dissolved in gold brass bronze these are again the examples of these solid solutions how can we express the concentration of these solutions? Number of ways are there. First one is mass percentage, that is W by W. We will we'll take the mass of solute and mass of solution. And mathematically, we can represent mass of the component. Generally, this component is solute. In the solution, divide by total mass of the solution multiplied by 100. Take one example. If you are having the 10% glucose in water by mass, it means 10 gram of glucose is dissolved in 90 gram of water resulting in the 100 gram of solution. Next one is volume percentage that is volume by volume that is we will take the volume of solute and volume of solution. Again mathematically volume of volume volume of the component generally this component is solute volume of solute in the solution divided by total volume of the solution multiplied by 100. One example is 10% ethanol solution in water means 10 ml of ethanol is a dissolved in water such the total volume of the solution is 100 ml. Generally solutions containing liquids that is liquid solutions are commonly expressed in this unit. One more example, 35% volume by volume solution of ethylene glycol. This mixture is known as antifreeze. What is the meaning of this antifreeze? We will discuss later on. This is used in cars for cooling the engine. Next one is mass by volume percentage. It means in this case we are taking the mass of the solute and volume of the solution W by V. The mass of the component in the solution divided by total volume of the solution multiplied by 100. Generally this W by V is used in the medicine and pharmacy. It is the mass of solute dissolved in 100 ml of solution. Now next one is the parts per million p uh, that is ppm and this can be 
written as number of parts of the component that is number of parts of the solute divided by total number of parts of all components of the solution multiplied by 10 to the power 6 this 10 to the power 6 is equal to 1 million concentration can also that is concentration ppm can also be expressed as mass to mass volume to volume and mass to volume as in case of percentage that is a w by w v by v and w by v same we can also express in terms of ppm for example a liter of sea water and its weight is 1030 gram contains 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram of dissolved oxygen if we express this into the ppm this will come 5.8 ppm of sea water how this 5.8 came so we can say this 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram this is the mass of solute and 1030 gram this is our mass of solution so this amount 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1030 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 this result in 5.8 ppm the concentration of pollutants in water or atmosphere is often expressed in terms of microgram per milliliter or ppm next one is the mole fraction generally this is represented by the x mole fraction of a component number of moles of the component divided by total number of moles of all the components if we consider one binary mixture in binary mixture there are the two components a and b if n a represent the number of moles of component a and b represent the number of moles of component b then we can say mole fraction of component a that is x a is equal to n a divided by n a plus n b in given solution sum of all the mole fraction is unity that is x so if they are the i components are there so we can say mole fraction of component 1 x1 plus mole uh, fraction of component 2 x2 and so on the sum of these mole fractions will be equal to 1 next one is molarity this is represented by capital m and it is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in one liter of solution mathematically we can say molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter its unit is mole per liter which is also represented by the capital m for example 0.25 m solution of nos what does it mean it means 0.25 mole of NaOH has been dissolved in one liter of its solution but sometimes moles are not given directly and mass of solute is given then this if mass of solute is represented by small w then if this is divided by the molar mass of solute then again this result in the number of moles and if volume of solution is given in the milliliter then we use this formula molarity is equal to w into 1000 divided by capital m into volume in milliliter but sometime moles are not given directly if density is given and mass percentage is given then we use this formula molarity is equal to d into mass percentage into 10 divided by m but sometime mass percentage is also not given of if the only density is given so generally density is expressed in terms of gram per centimeter cube or we can say this one gram per centimeter cube is equal to one gram per milliliter so from this if this is given only density is given we can also find out the molarity that is this gram per one gram mass of the solute given in the gram present in the one milliliter if you find out how much mass is present in the one liter then this mass given in the gram is multiplied by 1000 now if this one thousand one after multiplying 1000 whatever the result we get if this is divided by the molar mass then we will get the molarity of that solution once again try to understand if density is given in the gram per milliliter 
then this gram mass of the gram given it must be multiplied by 1000 then we will get this amount of solute will present in the one liter that is we will get gram per liter and if this gram mass of the solute is multiplied by molar mass sorry if this divide by the molar mass then we will get the molarity in moles per liter because this g divided by m is the number of moles so we can use this formula molality represented by the small m this is defined as the number of moles of solute per kilogram of the solvent generally there is the one question what is the difference between molality and molarity so again remember in case of molality number of moles of solute dissolved in one liter of solution but in case of molality number of moles of solute dissolve in one kilogram of solvent mathematically we can express molality is equal to moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kilogram its unit is mole per kilogram which is also represented by the small m for example 1.00 m solution of kcl means 1 mole of kcl and mass of 1 mole of kcl is 74.5 gram that is 1 mole or 74.5 gram of kcl is dissolved in 1 kilogram of water if again moles of solute is not given directly and mass of solute is given and mass of solvent is given in the gram then we can use this formula to find out the molality of the solution where w is the mass of solute it is capital m is the molar mass of solute this capital w and this z represent that mass of solvent in gram and this is multiplied by 1000 these are the some ways by which we can express the concentration of solutions now among these mass percent it may be w by w v by v or w by v ppm mole fraction and molality are independent of temperature whereas molarity is the function of temperature why because molarity involves the volume and volume depends on temperature while another ways involve the mass and mass does not depend on the temperature now we'll discuss the some numericals calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol c2h6o2 in solution containing 20 percent of ethylene glycol by mass means 20 percent 20 percent of ethylene glycol means 20 gram of ethylene glycol present in 100 gram of solution if solution is 100 gram then we can say what is the mass of solvent so we can say 100 minus 20 and this will come the 80 gram this is the mass of solvent so first of all we will find out the number of moles of solute and solvent where solute here solute is ethylene glycol and solvent is water so we can see it is molar mass of C2H2O2 that is 62 gram per mole I think there is no difficulty to find out this molar mass at the atomic masses of all these atoms we can get this one so moles of ethylene glycol this 20 gram divided by 62 gram per mole we will get the 0.322 mole in the same way moles of water it is the 80 gram this is the mass of solvent divided by the molar mass of water we will get 4.444 mole so we can find out mole fraction of ethylene glycol is the moles of ethylene glycol divided by total moles total moles present in the solution that is moles of ethylene glycol and moles of water and put the value and if we solve it we will get this now this is the mole fraction of ethylene glycol and if you find out the mole fraction of water as we know sum of the mole fraction of all the components of a solution is equal to 1 it means if this 0 0.068 is subtracted from 1 we will get the 
mole friction of water. Now next, calculate the molarity of solution containing 5 gram of NaOH in 450 ml solution. Now again, what is given in the question? Mass of solute is given 5 gram. Volume of solution is given given the milliliter that is 450 and we can find out the molar mass of solute that is NaOH and it will equal to 40 gram per mole. Again, use the formula this one which we already discussed. W is the value of 5 multiplied by 1000 m that is molar mass of NaOH that is 40 and this is VML that is volume of solution in milliliter that is 450. If you solve it, you will get 0 0.278 capital M that is moles per liter. Next, molality, calculate molality of 0 0.25 gram of ethanoic acid in 75 gram of benzene. So again, we can say this is mass of solute is given 2.5 gram, mass of solvent is given 75 gram, and we can find out the molar mass of solute that is CS3COOH. It will come 63 gram per mole. Use the formula molality is equal to W into 1000 divided by capital M, and this is multiplied by WG. Now, what stands these? This is the mass of solute which is 2.5 gram. This M that is molar mass of solute that is 63 multiplied by 1000 and what is this 75? 75 is the mass of solvent that is benzene. Solve this we will get 0 0.556 M that is mole per kilogram. Now so these are the different ways of expressing the concentration and we have discussed the some numericals based on these formulas and in ncrt they are the number of questions try to solve thank you